Apple may not be releasing an M2 based Mac Studio and if rumors are to be believed, they might not release a new Mac Studio ever again. That news right now is circling the internet thanks to Mark Gurman because he said that the upcoming Apple Silicon Mac Pro is quote, very similar in functionality to the Mac Studio and that Apple may wait until the release of the M3 or M4 series chips to update the machine or simply never refresh it ever again. So for me, this is a little weird. As a musician, a video producer, a video editor, I'm a little taken aback by this. Even though my primary machine is the M1 Max MacBook Pro, I still cannot deny that the awe-inspiring capabilities of the Mac Studio, its captivating design, its SD card slot on the front, all those beautiful ports in the back is a thing of beauty and what dreams are made of if you're a content creator. Whether you use Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, Lightroom or Photoshop, you're a coder or an app developer, or you're a musician producer that works in Pro Tools or Logic Pro, there is something for everyone in a Mac Studio. It's the machine that promises to unlock your full creative potential and eliminate any previous limitations imposed by inferior technology. So why discontinue the Mac Studio? Well, the answer lies in the much hyped Mac Pro. Apple's once cherished product has become the subject of ridicule thanks to its two iconic designs, one being the circular black design, also known as the trash can, and the more recent version known as the cheese grater that doesn't even come with wheels that you have to pay $700 extra for. Yes, I'm very bitter about that. <laughs> The Mac Pro, the third generation that was released in 2019, was just one year short of being able to take advantage of the introduction of the Apple Silicon M1 chips. And while every single computer in the Mac lineup got an M1 upgrade eventually, the Mac Pros didn't. However, infamously in one keynote, Apple specifically mentioned how the M1 line of chips would come to the Mac Pro soon. And they joined the rest of our incredible Mac lineup with Apple Silicon making our transition nearly complete with just one more product to go, Mac Pro. But that is for another day. But months went by with no Mac Pro in sight with Apple Silicon, until now. As rumors suggest, there's a new Mac Pro on the way and it'll feature the M2 Ultra chip. Now, if that sounds familiar, Ultra is the word that Apple is using for their more high-end tier stuff, for their high-end Apple Silicon, their Apple Watches, and eventually their iPhones. But it's also familiar because when the Mac Studio got introduced, there were two versions that you can choose from, the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra, which was basically two M1 Max chips put together. So if the Mac Pro is getting the M2 Ultra, what would the Mac Studio get in an upgrade? And therein lies the problem. How can you have two machines that have the exact same chipset, that have the exact same features, that have the exact same functionality, and yet charge two completely different price points? You can't which is why they're getting rid of the Mac Studio. Or at least that's what the rumors say, but at the very least, Apple's going to stop supporting the Mac Studio for the next few years. Don't expect to see an M2 version or maybe even an M3 version, and who knows if we actually get one ever again. But in my opinion, that's not necessarily a bad thing. When the Mac Studios got released on the heels of the M1 MacBook Pros, these machines could do things that I don't think people envisioned that a small form factor machine like a laptop or something the size of a Mac Studio could do. You would need a tower like a Mac Pro. You would always need something that had the biggest and the best, as much RAM as possible, as much hard drive space as possible, as much processing power as possible. And yet Apple showed with the M1 chips in a Mac Mini, in an iMac, in a Mac Studio, in a MacBook Pro that you could do the impossible with the machines that were always supposed to be secondary in comparison to the Mac Pros. In fact, they were doing it better than the 2019 Mac Pros that had just come out a year before it. When the M1 was announced, I proclaimed that Apple had finally created computers that could last the average user five, six, seven, hell, maybe even 10 years. And the performance of the M1 MacBook Pro laptops and the Mac Studio was already crazy. So it's another 20%, 30% if they actually do update the Mac Studio to an M2 Ultra chip. Would it really make that much of a difference in the long scheme of things? I would argue not. 
at least not yet. When they go to the next round, an M3 chip or an M4 chip, then maybe we'll notice a little bit of lag. But for the time being, I don't necessarily think that the Mac Studio needs to be updated, especially with the M1 Ultra option. But I could also sympathize with people who think that Apple has just created another product that's just gonna sit there and collect dust, it's not gonna be supported, and eventually Apple will completely forget about. And you know what? You might be right. I mean, it is strange that the Mac Mini's got a noticeable update with the M2 Pros, as did the MacBook Pros, but the Mac Studio got absolutely nothing. No word is on any updates for the Mac Studio basically ever since it's come out. It came out, made a splash, and then it's been relative radio silence ever since. And if there is no update to the Mac Studio, then what does that say about the desktop market? A market that has been steadily declining year after year. Does it say that Apple has any faith in it or are they just happy with the Mac Mini, the iMac 24 inch, and the Mac Pro with no room for the Mac Studio? I mean, I guess time will tell. But until then, if you want my opinion on the brand new Mac Minis with the M2 Pro chips, you can check out that video here. And if you want my opinion on the brand new MacBook Pros with the M2 chips, then you can check that video out here. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Take care.